Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play Lance and see. Uh, I must admit fellas, yesterday I was doing Lance and see video and after the game yesterday I am checking the um, am I recording and everything is fine and you know what is happening? Uh, I noticed that the footage was muted. We had like 4000 combined game which was very very nice uh, but unfortunately it was muted. So yeah, I am not joking fellas. Sometimes fails are happening from my side and nothing what I can change about this. Anyways, without further ado, let's go into the with the Lansen in the game and let's see what this big boy can do. Skill. Is the Lansen good tank? Honestly, it is not bad vehicle by any means. I truly adore this tank. Alpha damage and gun handling for 320 alpha damage is not bad whatsoever. So I am feeling uh, pretty good about this tank. Armor wise, Lansen is definitely not ideal and uh, you cannot expect to bounce a lot with this tank. Although occasionally you are going to ca have one or another bounce. Anyways, 320 alpha damage. 208 millimeters of penetration um, and speaking about the shell velocity fellas we are having 300, um, 930 meters which is not very great although speaking about APCRs we have 320 um, alpha damage as usual, a bit faster shell velocity and the 242 uh, penetration obviously it is um, it is not ideal but it is not bad it is not bad and obviously the thing which I am saying all the time especially when we are having a newer premium tanks or we are featuring newer premium tanks boys and girls ladies and gentlemen ask yourself a question do you enjoy uh, the game to that level to drop uh, let's say 40 or 50 euros into the game right because premium tanks are expensive it is not like uh, they do not cost absolutely anything and everyone is going to get them for free it's not the case so ask yourself do you enjoy the game and is it worth the money for you fellas it is very important thing to say okay so interesting we should be able to hit him quite easily you see this tank is very interesting speaking about the gun handling because it looks like it's, it doesn't work but in reality it works and the DPM, the burst fire and everything is just a solid banana out of 10 I would say and look at this beauty we are shredding this uh, Vakai heavy tank like there is no tomorrow obviously Vakai is not the most uh, and the, not the best armored vehicle out there but still um, we managed to do the things properly Meanwhile, Defender. We are going to load the gold ammunition for Defender. Um, and hopefully we will be able to shred him like a hot knife through the butter. That's the plan. That's the hope. That's the dream. We are hitting him once. Defender is still off a cut. He doesn't uh, really care about anything. Going to hit him. And from now on, more likely we are going to um, start farming him. Or, although there is another tourist which is trying to escape. So what that means, that means means we want to hit the tourist first I don't know maybe defender is doing some kind of armor test if you know what I mean defender is saying well how about if I would pretend uh, I am um, I am opossum uh, I won't move so maybe no one is going to beat me well you are wrong this is world of tanks my man hmm Okay, that's a great start. We have 3,000 combined already. And once again, I am extremely uh, happy with this tank performance. I remember when we played with this tank for the first time, I think we marked it in 55 games or so. And this is a very nice amount of the games to uh, mark the tank. Hmm, good. Look at this beauty. That was the lowest roll possible, by the way. But shit happens, I assume. No. Mr. Panther, we are the flying for you. Skill what you are doing, I'm trying to build a different angle for this, uh, for this object. And as you can see, it works just fine. 
I want to make sure I am not getting spotted and I am spotted. Good. That doesn't really change absolutely anything and uh, we can simply move to the left, move to the right and we are back. Nice. We are sitting on 4000 combined already so we, uh, we are at the same percentage like uh, I was in the previous game uh, which will happened yesterday. Good. Can we get one more? Yummy. I mean holy bananas. Look at this beautiful tank. When the things are working, things are working. By the way, did you notice that uh, our team pretty much disappeared? Um, you know what that means? That should mean they have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, bushwankers in the back. So, Skill, uh, do you want to talk about this? Absolutely, yes. From now on, I'm going to escape. I do not want to play here anymore because they should be more involved and they should start making pressure like this. So we need to prepare for a safe defense parameter and hopefully it will work just fine. Uh, we have already um, 4.7 thousand which is nice uh, but there is still a lot of a lot of things for us to do. <coughs> and I think I'm going to load high explosive ammunition first. Uh, the main reason why am I going to load high explosive ammunition first because I think they should have a scorpion or alternatively Sue which is making a bit of pressure. That's the plan, that's the hope and that's the dream. I know maybe I could sit in the middle, but I think it would be so way too risky for this, if you know what I mean. It just, uh, I don't really think the risk is worth the reward. Okay. Can we eliminate this guy in the face with a blind shot? Yeah, you never know. Let's go. Unfortunately, we cannot. And we are getting spotted. All right. All right. You see, how am I not waiting until I am going to get spotted myself? I am instantly taking cover. And the main reason why we are instantly taking cover, just because of this situation, if we would get spotted. Just to protect ourselves in a way. We have the Sue on the corner, which is very nice. Where is this gentleman who spotted me? You see, now I have a big fat question. What is the chance they can cross like this <coughs> and I won't notice them? This is the question. That's a very long game, fellas. Mm -hmm. Scorpion spotted, so spotted. Okay. He can cross like this. Ah, shame. Shame, shame, shame. Not exactly what I would love to see, but this is what we have and this is what we are working with. Okay. The question is, what will happen next? I don't really want to approach this Sue for obvious reasons. I don't really think approaching him would be smart by any means. Let's try to go. Mm -hmm. Bam. 400 in the face. This is what we want. This is what we want, fellas. Obviously, we see him moving. Good. This is intense battle, I like it. Mm -hmm. We knock at the tree down, it wasn't very smart, but it is how it is. What I need to do, I kind of need to eliminate the soup, but I'm a bit afraid. And I do not really think it is a bad thing to be a bit afraid, fellas. How we can approach him? Huh? How we can approach him? Object. Well done. Okay, object is thinking about getting involved. That's completely fine. 
We have a great position, but in the same time we need to... We need to eliminate them somehow. Okay, let's see. How about Oyoi? Bad call. He high rolled to the maximum, which sucks, but what can you do? I'm going to ram him. I'm going to ram him. No! Mistake! 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 Ay, 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 that's on me. Okay, nothing what I can change about this. Mistakes were made. Um, I thought I am going to have enough speed to ram this guy and I thought I will uh, be able to survive, but unfortunately, I wasn't. Uh, I don't know how I could play this game differently. Maybe, maybe at this point when Sue started making pressure, I just needed to be more involved. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, this is not the game for which I would complain. Or, um... Or the game where I would say I played like a pile of caco. I think everything was was fine, but enemy team simply played better. So what do we have? In the first battle, by the looks of it, we have 4.5 thousand damage, 1.3 thousand assisting damage. And this is a great score. I wish I would be able to kill that Sue. Maybe then situation would be a bit different. Maybe we would be able to eliminate other guys. But oh well, it is how it is. What can you do? Cry every time. Anyways, what do we have? We have 4.5 thousand damage, we have 1.2 thousand assisting damage, great game. I am happy with this, although it is defeat, but oh well. Uh, the tank destroyers farmed the most, those Sus from the back, uh, Scorpion did quite a great job, and overall enemy team played just great, and it is not a shame to lose uh, for a team like this. Okay, second battle. Let's go. Uh, Berlin, tier 10 matchmaking and counter battle, ooh, yikes. Uh, this is not ideal for us, for sure. Uh, it is not the best case scenario. There is, uh, there is no light tanks whatsoever, so at least that's something. But the question is how we can be involved and how we can play this game. Uh, because going into the Julia, the Hotel 3 is not going to be very nice. Going to the Kilo 3, it is not going to be very nice. Um, being super aggressive, uh, I mean, if I am going to meet the TVP, TVP is going to be the living crap out of me. So, uh, this is definitely not the easiest uh, situation and not the easiest matchmaking. But you know what? It is okay. It is alright. Hmm. How many guns do we have? We have four guns which is going to this side. Once again, I don't really think we are going to um, be aggressive by any means. It is just not worth it. So we are going to play passively and uh, when game is going through, we'll see. Um, is it worth to stay there to make a bit of pressure or something? Once again, majority of the heavy tanks... Uh, this matchmaking has majority of the heavy tanks and as you can see even mediums are playing in the heavy line. So I can tell you one thing, this is not a great stuff for um, our team. I am a bit paranoid and I am a bit afraid. Meanwhile, our type 61 is making uh, hardcore pressure in front because he is realizing majority of the enemies are spotted in this side and that's good stuff. I want to go together with him and I know how risky uh, this decision actually is, but we need to do what we need to do. We spot a demil, doesn't really matter, trying to cross through the middle. Luckily, we are crossing through the middle without getting spotted. And now we can take a typical bush. We are spotting enemy TVP, which is absolutely amazing. And now our guys will smack him in the face for quite a bit of damage. This is great. And now we are going to smack him ourselves once. Too bad we missed the shot, but nothing what we can change about this. And we are accepting our fate. Meanwhile, our 430U is taking probably one for the team from the ML1, um, which is kind of understandable if you would ask me. And here we go, that's what we have. Now we are aiming for a side of ML, unfortunately we are missing the shot, which sucks but nothing what we can change about this. And now the question is, do I want to take this position over there? I know I would be able to uh, spot the E50M, I know this, but the question is what kind of price are we going to pay for this? 
This is the question, fellas. Is the price worth to pay? Type is getting involved. Okay, very nice. Aim, 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 aim now. Good, 320, very nice. We are getting involved, like I said before. And now we are sitting in relatively fine position. Once again, we are trying to work this line. This is what we are working on. He, he knows I might be there. Doesn't really change anything because we can't smack him once. Good. TVP. TVP is extremely dangerous opponent, fellas. Uh, TVP can simply clip us out since we are bottom tier, so we need to be extra uh, careful and we need to think what we are doing. It is not enough for us to push the W key and say blah, 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 blah. It is not going to be good enough. How am I thinking about approaching enemies now? I am thinking about making maybe crossfire for this ML1. Okay, good. Good, we know where ML1 is. That's very nice. And this is useful for us. Now the question is, can we smack him in the face and escape? So let's prepare for this. We are moving backwards just like this. Skill, why are you doing that? Because I am pretty much crafting the escape route for myself. It is very important. TVP. Aiming for TVP and hopefully hitting TVP and now running for my life. Not even thinking about anything else. Meanwhile, Emil might peek sideways like this in a moment. But the question is, can we hit him anyways? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. That's fine. Oi, oi. We need to run. Oi, 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 we need to run. Oi, 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 we need to run like there is no tomorrow. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Going into the ditch and trying to F off before it's too late. Hard game. But you know what? I like those games. Although our team is winning heavy side, looks like enemy team is saying abort mission, abort mission. It just looks like uh, enemies are failing the side completely. I'm just not that bad, fellas. And now, from now on, we are going to craft a nice angle to this Emil, and hopefully we can smack Emil in the face. Or maybe not Emil, maybe uh, this uh, Tian Hash. Mm -hmm. Tian Hash crossing like this. That's all right. Can we hit this ML? This is the question and the answer is yes, please. Nice. You see, if you are making the decisions correctly, this tank is not looking by any means bad, weak or something. It can actually work, it has decent gun handling, it has decent alpha damage. Once again, I would never say this is the best tank in the world of tanks. By any means, I would never ever say so. Um, but this is definitely not the tank for, uh, for which I could say it is a pile of garbage, don't get it. You know, there is way worse tanks in the game for sure. If I'm not mistaken, in the index it should be rated good. If I am not mistaken, beautiful, we were extremely patient and we were waiting until enemies will mess up and until they will make a mistake. This is what we were looking for and look at this beauty, very nice. Okay, let's try to get a bit more involved. I am surprised how enemy team collapsed because I thought they have a lot of a lot of forces in the city and truly they had a lot of forces in the city. But for some um, weird reason, he did not save at them. Oh well. Hello there. I saw how this gentleman just fired. Yeah, I know, I know. I know I'm very, very well aware of uh, what happened, but I do not really mind. I'm feeling extremely well and I would do the same thing uh, once again. 
he just fired, that's good, can we penetrate him via turret, oh come on, that wasn't great aim by me, so I definitely cannot complain about this and he is dead, okay that's what we have, um, for mark of excellence we have 2.8 thousand and overall score we have... Um, 3400 um, not bad by any means fellas considering what situation we had and um, enemies the, the most important battle was in the city and we pretty much missed that completely since we are bottom tier uh, it was very great game honestly I am happy with this good 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 let's continue our journey second by um, by the experience uh, fifth by the damage it is completely fine not bad okay let's continue one more game Lansen show us what you got Minsk tier 10 matchmaking yikes once again not great matchmaking unfortunately not the greatest map but let's see what we can do hard one this is going to be hard game fellas uh, mostly medium tanks so we can suspect them playing in the one two three line oh that's a hard game what kind of decisions we could make fellas let's think I am thinking about safe alternative option and the safe option is to play over there or I could try to risk it for the biscuit which would mean we are taking this position. Now what is the worst thing if the crown wagon is taking this hold down position we are pretty much doomed. Um, we can go and eat kaku and now the question is do I really want to make a decision uh, to risk that much for what? Okay, Kranwagen is sitting in the other line. Okay, okay, okay. Kranwagen is not there. That's good. ML1 is there. And obviously I should be afraid of the ML, but we are going to be just fine. Borat goes through the middle. Borat is sitting in the middle. Unfortunately, we are missing the shot. That's all right. And soon, fellas, we will take the best position, in my humble opinion, in this map. Um, it is not fun when you are getting overrunned. But um, it can work extremely well. This position is pretty much solid banana out of 10. Now let's see. Look at this fellas. Can we find the angle to hit this Mr. Borat? And in my humble opinion we should be able to. I'm getting spotted. I don't care. I am smacking this guy. You see... This guy can proxy spot me and I can proxy spot him. This is pretty much the trade which you are having in this position. In other words, I am messing up his game and he is messing up my game. But I have a feeling um, my life is less important than this gentleman's life is. As wrong as it sounds. Oi oi. Okay, okay. I thought this guy just fired but I was absolutely wrong about this. It is fine. We are going to be safe until until someone will cross like this. I could get a bit more involved into this position. I am uh, I am very very well aware of that. But in the same time, we would take a risk for getting slaughtered from the um, sniper schnitzels which are sitting there. So keep this in mind. And once again, I am all the time spotted. You know this, and I know this. Is this guy trying to hit my gun or something? Let's slow the APCRs and let's prepare. Mm, 500 meters. He's way more accurate than I am. ML1. Could I move like this without getting slaughtered? We know when Bushwanker is sitting in this position. We are very, very well aware of that. And we are losing the heavy line currently. That's bad. And that's bad, fellas. Okay. High explosives on. Skill, why are you loading high explosives? You see? Now what we are going to do, we are going to go for extremely risky decision. We are going to cross like this. Hopefully no one will hit me while I'm crossing. 
And now this ELC is sitting in the deep shit hole. And from now on, this ELC is sitting in a very deep shit hole. Now we are trying to craft the right angle and we we are finding the angle. Oh yes. Unfortunately I missed, that's okay. Step by step, little by little. This gentleman is smart. This gentleman is not playing bad. But we need to kill him. It is very important. This guy needs to die. This is like the most important uh, part of this game. Now, uh, hopefully our team will eliminate him from the game. At least that's what we need. And that's what we are waiting for. You see how many guns do we have? And this gentleman, he knows he's sitting in the deep shit hole. He is very, very well aware of that, fellas. Trying to hit Grilla, unfortunately missing. That's fine. No, guys. Kill the CLC. Kill the CLC. ELC is saying, F you, mother truckers. Good. ELC is dead. Good, 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 good. Very nice. Okay. That's the first part done. What do we need to do now? We have... Uh, we have definitely a huge disadvantage, speaking about 400 hit points, uh, 4000 hit points, I apologize, that's on me. Uh, let's see, can we do something bad for the Grille? If Grille will shoot, we should be able to spot him, unless Grille will use second line of the bushes in this area. That wouldn't be very nice. Okay, you know what, I'm going for a blind shot because I have nothing to do anyways. Unfortunately, we are definitely not hitting Grilla and we are not getting spotted. What that indicates for us, that indicates for us Grilla might be even out from this area. This is the thing. How about this E50? Nothing. 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 Wow, I'm having a great uh, games today. Uh, skill, what do you mean? You have 700 damage, you peasant. Listen, fellas. Um... Close games are always much appreciated and they are always amazing. So, I can tell you from my experience, I would uh, rather take the game when we are barely uh, moving with gun marks or where we barely have a decent performance, but where the games are actually interesting. Um, when you need to think what you are doing in order to do something in the game, you know, it is it is very, very important stuff, fellas. It is very important stuff. RNG said no, uh, and that sucks, but once again, nothing what we can do about this. Um, do I want to blind fire the Grilla? Eh? Not really. Okay, E50 is dead. Excellent. This guy is uh, behaving like ice. Um, so if enemies will try to make a bit of pressure like this, they are going to have uh, a very hard situation. Okay, beautiful. Jet Panther, take this. Unfortunately, we are missing the shot. I said way too many good things about gun handling. Okay, let me let me rephrase the things. This gun handling is horrible. This gun handling sucks. And this tank cannot hit absolutely anything. No, now we are talking. Now we are talking, fellas. Okay, 3000 minus HP, 3000 minus HP, I don't really have escape route from this position, so once again I need to be extra careful, um, Grilla, very nice, aim, 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 now, good, Grilla is dead, now we are going down like this, hopefully we can cross without bigger problems, excellent. Uh, can I take this typical bush? I can, but I am not spotting anyone, so it is definitely not worth the time. Oh boy, beautiful shot, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He did not spot us. Nice, it's even better. Okay, 
Emil, how are you doing, sir? Okay, I did not notice that I was spotted. Oh, my bananas, I missed that. That's on me. Nothing what I can change about this. Nothing what I could complain about. That's on me. I honestly thought this guy did not spotted us. I really thought so, but unfortunately, I was incorrect. Oh, well, shit happens. Maybe when, I'm, um, when, maybe when I fired, I got spotted. That's okay. That's on me, fellas. My mistake. Um, I made a... Simply a shitty decision. Anyways, let's teleport into the ending of this game, shall we? Boom. And we are back, fellas. Let's enjoy this beautiful uh, bang of the 257. Our T57 will find balls in his hand very, very soon. And here we go. And now this is an enjoyable gaming experience. Well, luckily he saved his HP till the last moment of the battle. So everything is fine, fellas. Yeah, that was a quick one. Anyways, we won this game and it was actually interesting battle because for the most of the game, it wasn't clear are we going to win the game or are we going to lose the game and overall how the things are looking like. So I am proud of this battle even though result is not looking great. Only 2000. Um, but I think the decisions which we made in this game to counter ELC even and so on, it was important. So... We have 2.7 thousand combined roughly, that's alright, we are second by experience, we are in the second bottom end or we are in the bottom end by the damage, but that fine. this is completely fine, I am not complaining about this, and overall our performance with this vehicle is 2.5 thousand damage, 1.4 thousand assisting damage, that means um, we roughly played for uh, 4 thousand combined, which is absolutely amazing, and funny fact fellas, if we are looking into the score of this tank we played 68 games currently and we are averaging 2.8 thousand damage and 1.3 thousand assisting damage this is insane score for this tank it is actually insane um and once again lansen is having a special uh place in my heart um, and i think it is okay tank i think it is great tank in fact uh, do i recommend to buy it well once again before buying any premium tank ask yourself how much do you love this game and how much the 30 or 40 40 euros means to you. Maybe it's just better to go to the um, to the cinema or or order food with your girlfriend. Whatever doesn't matter, right? So yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. That was your daily dose of skill, and see you next time. Skill is out. Peace.